Welcome everyone to the band portion of our concert today. My name is Pat Cunningham. I'm band director at the high school here. As you can see, the pandemic has forced us to do many changes this year, especially with PPE specific to band instruments. But we are internally grateful that we're still able to rehearse and perform this year. Our next concert will be Tuesday, May 18th. We are hoping to have a live performance with a limited audience, depending on what the COVID situation is, will determine um, the size of our audience. The songs we're performing today are those that we recorded for the large group band festival last week. While all of our festivals have been virtual this year, we've still been able to participate and receive comments from adjudicators. The first piece we're going to play for you is a festival prelude by Alfred Reed. It's a staple in the band literature. It will start off with brass fanfares, followed by woodwind flourishes, and again end with the opening fanfare. I hope that you enjoy a festival prelude. Thank you for tuning in to Merrimack TV's live election night coverage 2021. Uh, polls are uh, just about ready to close. Uh, we plan on bringing you election, preliminary election results uh, when we have them. So uh, my name is Nicholas Lavallee. I'm the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. Joining me on camera today is Colin Marr. And... Also back at the community TV studio, we have Justin Slez, who's in the control room right now. And uh, while we wait for preliminary results, you're going to be treated to uh, some performances from the Merrimack High School Jazz Band, uh, and then also select uh, small group ensembles. This was a program that was recorded uh, in March, maybe April. It was recorded in the past couple months, that for sure. Um, and also, uh, you'll be seeing the 275th Town of Merrimack uh, anniversary, the kickoff, the opening ceremony. Uh, and then also another performance by the band. Uh, and we'll just have these programs playing while we await for preliminary results here from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. Uh, maybe we can get Lynn Christensen uh, the town moderator on camera at some point and she'll um, maybe we can have her come over and talk about the process the ballot counting process and how that's going to work uh, but thanks so much for for joining us tonight and once again my name is Nicholas Lavalley, the town of Merrimack's media services coordinator and with me on camera tonight is Colin Marr our part-time media assistant and of course Merrimack's golden son himself our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Slez, is back at Town Hall. And he'll be playing uh, extra programming for you in the split screen and putting in our graphics as we await for preliminary election results. We're live from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. Uh, and if you want, add us, add, uh, follow Merrimack TV on Facebook or on Twitter. And we'll bring you the results as soon as the town of Merrimack's moderator has them. Um, looks like those that are casting their ballots here right down to 7 o'clock are doing so right now. A couple others just looks like they just got here just about 7 and are grabbing their ballots. So uh, we will await for preliminary results. Stay tuned to Merrimack TV. Enjoy the band performances.
before we play our next piece, I would like to recognize those selected for all state music groups this year. Ruth Ellis and Trey Grant were selected to the all state jazz band. Please stand and be acknowledged. We had a tremendous number of students selected for the All-State Band this year. In fact, Merrimad had by far the largest number of students selected to the All-State Band. I would like these students to also stand and be recognized. Aubrey Connolly, Abigail Cody, Kelly Dustin, Ruth Ellis, Jenny Epstein, Katherine Janicki, Gavin Kurdek, Amber Lyons, Akira McDowell, Chase Rowe, and Clara Schaefer. Congratulations to these students. Next we follow with a gorgeous arrangement of Franz Schubert's Ave Maria. This Frank Tichelli arrangement is very reverent and beautifully scored, which adds to the depth and grace to this work. Ave Maria. You're watching Merrimack TV, channel 20. Merrimack TV is three different community access TV channels. We can be seen on Merrimack TV, channel 20, 21, and 22 on Comcast cable here in Merrimack. But you can also watch us on MerrimackTV.com in HD. Just click watch live on the left and choose your channel. You can also watch Merrimack TV on Roku and Apple TV devices by downloading Cablecast Streamweave and you can watch the channels 24-7 as, as they're seen on the cable. You can also watch on-demand programming as well. So if you're looking for government channel content like a town council meeting, planning board meeting, or some of our MHS Sports Archive, you can watch those on your Roku and Apple TV device as well. We'll have preliminary results for you later on this evening, but we are here, we are live from James Master Kohler Upper Elementary School, and we hope to have results for you soon. Enjoy the Merrimack High School Jazz Band and Small Group Ensembles.
To close our portion of the concert, we conclude with Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo by Malcolm Arnold. This work is indicated in the title is in three separate movements. The prelude begins bombastically with fanfare style, but then winds down to a quiet return at the very end of the movement and finally fades away. The Siciliano is both slower and more expressive, affording solo instruments and smaller choirs of sound to be heard. It too ends softly. The rondo provides a romping finale in which the technical brilliance of the band shines through. Malcolm Arnold's Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo. Thank you for watching Merrimack TV, Government Channel 20. My name is Nicholas Lavallee. I'm the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. You're watching tonight's live election results. Our coverage here, live from James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. Joining me on camera is our part-time media assistant, Mr. Colin Marr. And of course, back at the Town Hall TV studio, our assistant media services coordinator, Mr. Justin Slez. Colin's operating camera tonight. Justin's back at Town Hall. He is uh, bringing up these graphics on the screen. He's also playing some programming. 
some programs that we were fortunate enough to, to be part of uh, the past couple of months. You're watching select performances from the Merrimack High School Band, led by Miss Patricia Cunningham. And in a little bit, you're going to see a performance from the Merrimack High School Chorus, which is led by R.J. Beck. Everyone here at Merrimack TV are big fans of the Merrimack High School Music Department, and it's, uh, it was an absolute joy to get the invite to record those performances and, and see those hardworking young musicians who are performing under COVID protocols. We will have preliminary results for you later on this evening. I've been told that this may take quite a while, but you'll be, you'll be seeing shots from here at James Master Upper, Upper Elementary School. You'll see folks uh, organizing the ballots. Maybe we'll get Lynn Christensen, the town moderators on camera at some point to really explain exactly what's going on right now. Or maybe we can hear from the town clerk, Diane Trippett. But we're very happy that you chose to join us for this live coverage of our election results. Enjoy the Merrimack High School Band. Welcome to the choir portion of the concert. Um, this is this group's first performance since December 2019, uh, which I had to check the calendar on because I didn't believe it when I first uh, remembered that. But we have uh, been a while without a concert, so we're very excited to come back together and perform for uh, you this evening or this morning, whenever you're watching. Um, our first piece is by a composer named Luigi Cherubini, who was composing in the transition area between the classical and the romantic. The first composer we typically think of for this time is Beethoven. And while Cherubini wasn't, um, doesn't sort of echo through history the way Beethoven does, he was well respected in, in his time, and Beethoven called him his most accomplished contemporary. Cherubini wrote lots of opera music, but towards the end of his life, he moved towards smaller works, motets and hymns. We have a short hymn for you uh, this evening by him, and this is uh, Veni Yesu by Cherubini. There'll be two short incidental soloists by uh, Sam Pittman and Tim Yawn.
Our next piece uh, steps backward in history to the 1500s, um, and it's by Giovanni Perluigi da Palestrina. Um, the legend goes that in the midst of the Protestant Reformation, um, the Catholic Church responds with the Council of Trent. And uh, there's a particularly conservative uh, council on music that says we're going to get music out of the worship service, we're not going to use it anymore, and Palestrina thunders into the room and says, no, wait, I can do it. I can write music that will satisfy all of your requirements and still be beautiful and be appropriate. Um, whether or not that story is entirely true or mostly apocryphal or just got jazzed up for the history books, what is absolutely undeniable is that Palestrina's music has survived for 500 years because he is a master of simple, elegant, beautiful choral writing. Um, this is one of the most beautiful pieces of Western music ever written, um, and you'll, 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 you'll hear why in a couple minutes. Um, this is the height of what we call imitative polyphony. So what you're going to hear is one melody line in one of the voice parts, in this case the tenors, which then gets imitated in the altos and then in the sopranos and then finally the basses. And this music just spins out as everyone elaborates and does their own take on, on this very beautiful melody written by Palestrina. Uh, please enjoy Sikut Cervus. Thanks for joining us tonight for Merrimack TV's live election night results. We're live from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. Uh, as you can see, there are the town clerk, town moderator, uh, community volunteers, uh, school district staff. They're breaking down the room. There's ballots being organized, counted, separated. Hopefully I can get Lynn Christensen on mic and on camera to better explain this process. But we wanted to make sure that we were live uh, just as the polls had closed and we want to bring you the election results as soon as they happen. Uh, it's expected that it may take a while. So in the meantime, myself, uh, and my staff, we thought, hey, why not sh let the town see uh, some performances from the band that we had the privilege of recording uh, just a couple weeks ago and another one from a couple months ago. And shortly you'll also see the uh, replay of the 275th town anniversary kickoff event. My name is Nicholas Lavalley, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. Joining me on camera today is... Colin Marr, our media assistant, and of course our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Sluss, is back at Town Hall. He's bringing you the graphics, making sure our live stream stays steady. If you're watching us on Channel 20, 
on Comcast. Thank you so much. You can also find us on Apple TV and Roku devices by downloading Cablecast ScreenWeave. And you can watch the Merrimack TV channels there in HD. Of course, you can watch on our website as well, MerrimackTV.com. Click Watch Live and choose whatever channel you'd like to watch. We're on channel 20 tonight. And if you want, follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and we do have a YouTube channel as well. Let's see if we could talk to Lynn Christensen, the Town of Merrimax moderator, and uh, she could explain exactly what's going on. Thank you so much. In the meantime, please enjoy the MHS band and chorus.
results from the town's moderator, Lynn Christensen. In the meantime, you're being treated to some programming that we were fortunate enough to record just a few weeks ago and a couple months ago. This is the Merrimack High School Band and Chorus and a recital that we were helped uh, produce. If you're not already, please follow Merrimack TV on Facebook. And find us on Twitter at Merrimack TV. Do us a favor, share our post about election night re results, our coverage. Maybe that'll get seen more. We'd like to have as many viewers watching as possible tonight. Uh, received a couple text messages from Merrimack residents. We received some DMs. I know that there's a handful of you watching, and I'll, uh, I'm so appreciative that you're tuning in. Merrimack Community, Merrimack TV is the brand name for the town of Merrimack's media division. Uh, we have a, a community TV studio located at 6 Babusik Lake Road in the town hall complex. We're a staff of two and a half, myself, with uh, Colin Marr, our part-time media assistant, and of course our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Sluz. I am Nicholas Lavalley. Please follow us on social media at Merrimack TV on Twitter. Find Merrimack TV on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's so many ways to watch Merrimack TV now. We're not just on cable. You can also watch live on MerrimackTV.com in HD. And you can download Cablecast ScreenWeave on your Roku or Apple TV device and watch our channels 24-7. So if you're looking for a board meeting or if you're looking to watch any community event that we cover live, you can do so on your streaming device now, which is great. Watch in HD on the big screen. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully we can hear from Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator. But right now, as you can see here, people are organizing the ballots. I'm going to count the ballots. And when Lynn is ready to give us the preliminary results, we will go right to Lynn Christensen. She'll read those preliminary results. But let your friends, your neighbors, your family know that Merrimack TV does have election night coverage live right now. We are live from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. You can watch us in HD at MerrimackTV.com. Click Watch Live, choose Channel 20. You can watch us on Comcast, Channel 20. And as I had just mentioned, probably a bit too much, we are on streaming devices as well. Just download Cablecast ScreenWeave on your Roku or Apple TV device, and you can watch this content in HD. You can watch our meeting coverage in HD as well. We had a lot of fun covering the basketball games and the hockey games this season. Ice hockey and wrestling as well. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can see some of those games. But we're here, we're live, James Mastercola Upper Elementary School, as we're awaiting for preliminary results as read by the town of Merrimack's moderator, Lynn Christensen. In the meantime, enjoy this programming that we have in a split screen view. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll chat soon. We participated in those festivals, um, and we're very proud of them. We'll recognize them for just a moment. Um, for the All-State Jazz Choir, uh, Sophia Desolates was selected. Um, that was back in February. And then in just a couple weeks, we have our All-State Classical uh, Festival, which will feature, again, Sophia Desolates and Caitlin LaValle. And we can celebrate them. <laughs> Um, so we've talked enough about how difficult this year has been. Um, and I think one of the things that I'm going to take away from it is how important those connections we are that we have with each other that we've been missing this past year. Um, and so this piece of music is called Connected, and it just celebrates the way that we're all connected to one another. Um, we have a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoy. Connected by Brian Tate. That's what I said, I am, you are me. 
Don't you see? It's like I'm, I'm over here, here you are and me. you're over there. That's but what there's I something I between you us are that's me. greater than air. Don't you see? It's like I'm, I'm over here, here you are and me. you're over there. That's but what there's I said. something I'm between you us are me. that's greater than air. Don't you see? It's like I'm over here and you're over there. That's what I said. I'm over here and you're over there. That's what I said. I'm over here and you're over there. That's what I said. I'm over here and you're over there. That's what I said. I'm over here and you're over there. That's what I said. I'm over here and you're over there. That's what I said. I'm over here and you're over there. the Merrimack High School Band and Chorus, led by Patricia Cunningham and R.J. Beck. We've got a split-screen view tonight for our election night coverage. My name is Nicholas Lavallee, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. With me is Colin Marr on camera, our assistant media assistant. And of course, our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Slez, is back at the Town Hall TV studio. He's playing this great programming that we were fortunate enough to record the past couple months. Uh, and I'm told that next you'll be treated to the 275th Town of Merrimack anniversary kickoff event. Uh, so you're going to watch that next as we await preliminary results from the Town of Merrimack's moderator, Lynn Christensen. If you're watching this, let your friends and family know on social media uh, that we are bringing election night coverage live into your home if you could just share our post from our Facebook page at Merrimack TV, let people know how to watch tonight so they can watch the results with us and enjoy this programming from Merrimack TV in the meantime. Enjoy the 275th anniversary kickoff event that we had recorded last week at Abbey Griffin Park. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. If you would uh, please rise and we'll present the colors.
If you would please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, I just have a few opening remarks I'd like to make. Um, back on April 2nd of 1746, Governor Benning Wentworth signed a charter establishing that the land from Pinnachuck Brook to the Sahigan River became the town of Merrimack. At that time, fewer than 50 families lived here. Pawtucket, Nashaway, and Pinnacook people camped along the banks of the Merrimack and the Sauhegan Rivers. The Pinnacooks were greatest in numbers, and their chief, Pasconaway, was the ruler of all the tribes in the Merrimack Valley. Today, the town of Merrimack has grown substantially and has become prosperous with over 26,000 residents, according to the 2019 numbers from the state of New Hampshire. Last Friday, the town of Merrimack officially celebrated its 275th birthday, and so we're here today to commemorate this historic occasion with some special presentations. In November of 2020, the town council established the 275th Anniversary Planning Committee with a goal developing the town's plans on celebrating this historic occasion. The committee is led by Parks and Recreation Director Matt Kasparius, and the committee includes representatives from the Merrimack Heritage Committee, uh, the Merrimack Historical Society, the Town Council, the Library, the Chamber of Commerce, and members from the community at large. The committee is developing plans to offer a series of in-person and virtual events for the community to celebrate our history, which will run from April through October of 2021. And at this time, I'd like to invite, um, to read the proclamation from Governor Sununu, I'd like to invite uh, the Honorable David Wheeler to come up. Town of Merrimack, 275th anniversary. Whereas colonists began to settle Merrimack as early as 1655, and the town was incorporated on April 2nd, 1746, and whereas rivers were an important source for early travel, and f the four villages that now make up Merrimack are named after the rivers and ferries used for early transportation. And whereas Merrimack's earliest residents were farmers and many worked in saw and grist mills and in the 19th century saw a transition to brick mills and other small businesses in the old white mills on Main Street. And whereas the town began to grow into what is today the 20th century with Merrimack's population expanding and many new businesses opening in several industries including Anheuser-Busch Brewery, and whereas today Merrimack is thriving, and through all its changes, Merrimack citizens take pride in their history and in their town as they celebrate their 275th anniversary of its corporation. Now, therefore, I, Christopher T. Sununu of the state of New Hampshire, do hereby commend the town of Merrimack on its 275th anniversary 
and join you in celebrating this momentous milestone. And at this and at this time we have a House of Representatives proclamation which will be read by the Honorable Bob LaRue. Good afternoon and welcome. It's a pleasure and honor to be here today. See all these wonderful Merrimack citizens and to honor Mr. Haig also. So I have right now a State of New Hampshire House of Representative Declaration. Whereas the town of Merrimack, located, located in the southern part of New Hampshire, is celebrating its 275th anniversary this year, whereas Merrimack was originally part of a 1673 Dunstable Grant, and then later incorporated as the town of Merrimack on April 2nd 1746. Merrimack has the distinction of two birthdays, April 2nd, 1746, when it was incorporated, and June 5th, 1750, when it was expanded. And Merrimack has gone through significant changes and growth through its history to include religious, municipal, entities, education, and industry. And Merrimack celebrates its rich history its official town birthday, and its, a commu in, in, in its community in this special year, and declared that the New Hampshire House of Representatives publicly does recognize and does extend its hearty and sincere congratulations to the town of Merrimack on its 275th anniversary, declared by virtue of my signature inscribed below, the New Hampshire House of Representatives also does extend is highest accolades and plaudits. Signed March 19, 2021, Sherman Packard, Speaker of the House of Representatives. Thank you very much, Bob. We are also honored to be uh, presented with a State Senate proclamation, which will be read by the Honorable Gary Daniels. First, like to say, happy happy 275th anniversary, Merrimack. You're Secondly, I'd like Merrimack to encourage TV you, if you haven't 20. done it already, to go to MerrimackHistory.org. Thanks for joining us for tonight's Tom live Red election Park night Park. coverage. We are live from James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. My name is Nicholas Lavalle. I'm the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator, and joining me on camera is Colin Marr, our assistant media, our media assistant. I think I got that right, our media assistant, Colin Marr. And of course, back at Town Hall, we have our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Sles. Right now, you're watching the 275th anniversary kickoff event that the town held last Friday. It's an event that we recorded. If you'd like to see more content from Merrimack TV, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Merrimack TV. Merrimack TV isn't just on cable anymore. You can actually watch us on MerrimackTV.com or you can download Cablecast ScreenWeave, watch our channels live there as well. Watch it in HD on the big screen right now. We're awaiting preliminary results from the town's moderator, Lynn Christensen. So in the meantime, what you're seeing on the right side of this split screen is the action here at James Mastercola Upper Ele Elementary School. The town clerk is here and along with some community volunteers and town and school district staff had set up for the election. So people are just organizing ballots and uh, checking ballots. Lynn Christensen or Diane Trippett would be significantly better to talk about that process and I'm hoping to get them on camera, but they're busy right now. They are actively making sure that these that things are done properly and uh, they work extremely hard. Lynn and uh, Diane and every community volunteer and staff that's here today um, 
We hope to have preliminary results for you soon. We don't know exactly when that will be, but in the meantime, you can enjoy some of this Merrimack TV programming. Please, if you're watching, let your friends and family know that they can watch results as well. Share our uh, post about our election night coverage from our Facebook page so that folks know that they can watch on Merrimack TV Channel 20 or online at our website or their streaming device. We received some very nice uh, messages earlier thanking us for this coverage, and we're just so grateful that people are watching. The uh, Merrimack TV is the town of Merrimack's media division. We're branded as Merrimack TV. We have a community TV studio located at 6 Bad Music Lake Road in the town hall complex. If you'd like to become involved with the community channel side of things, please email myself or Justin. You can reach us both at MerrimackTV at MerrimackNH.gov. There's so many ways that you can get involved. You can have a show on the community channel. You could volunteer to record a community event, um, like a, a sports game for, from any of the schools. Uh, there's just so many ways you can get involved, and we'd always love to have an extra set of hands. So Merrimack TV at MerrimackNH.gov, and we hope to have preliminary results for you soon. Thanks for watching. This is Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. Resident for at least 25 years. And um, we've had to, to search far and wide, and we're happy to uh, be able to present this cane to Arthur Haight. Um, and we'll do that uh, right now. Thank you. So the Boston Post cane is to certify that Arthur Haight is being recognized as the oldest living resident in Merrimack and as such is appointed the holder of the Boston Post cane. As a token of this recognition, a replica of the cane is presented to the recipient. Presented at the town of Merrimack's 275th anniversary inaugural celebration on behalf of the Merrimack Town Council and the town manager this ninth day of April, 2021. Congratulations and thank you very much for being with us. see it, but they're all standing for you. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. So that looks good. Looks good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. you wanna, would you like to say something? Does he want to? You, would you like to say something? I, I can't. I can't read half the time. Can't read half the time. Uh, I, I have a COPD and I lose my breath. Awesome! Thank you very much. And congratulations. So that concludes our celebration today. We would like to thank everyone for joining us here today in marking this momentous occasion. The committee, I'm sorry, you're right. I missed that on my agenda. I have one more thing we want to do. Thank you, Bob. Um, at this point, we have a presentation of the New Hampshire state flag uh, being presented that was flown over the state capitol by being presented by the Honorable Bob LaRue and Fran LaRue. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Fran and I have been Merrimack residents for over 50 years. The town has been very good to us. They've donated a lot, not only to the citizens, but to us also. So we felt that on this special occasion that we, in return, 
should give something to the town. The so state of New Hampshire, Concord, New Hampshire, this flag was flown over the New Hampshire State House at the request of the Honorable Bob and Fran LaRue to commemorate the town of Merrimack's 275th anniversary celebration on April 2nd. In the year of our Lord, 2021, and of the independence of the United States of America, 245. Signed, Honorable Bob and Fran LaRue. So now I was told I could say goodbye. So we thank everyone for joining us here today and marking this momentous occasion. The committee has developed a 275th anniversary webpage, which can be accessed on the front page of the town's website at merrimacknh.gov, and as, as well as created a 275th anniversary Facebook page to share news, events, photos, and more. So please you know, follow along. Keep up with what's going on. There'll be activities throughout the year, as I said at the beginning, between now and October, I believe. Plus, we also have a, a commemorative bridge we're trying to build over in the, uh, we're going to bridge, build over in the Twin Bridges area. This is an example of it at uh, some scale. It's, it's very much to scale. Um, please take a look at it. We're looking for donations because we want this to be a gift to the town from the citizens of Merrimack. And uh, we're definitely starting our fundraising. It's going to be a lot, but we think the town of Merrimack's more than anxious to stand up, step up, and, and help us with that effort. So again, thank you very much for joining us, and please do stop by and take a look at the at the uh, sample of the bridge. Thank you very much. Merrimack TV is committed to our community. From gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of town and school board meetings to updates on town services and projects, we aim to keep you connected. Uh, good morning, I'm Kyle Fox, Public Works Director for the Town of Merrimack. Hi, I'm Diane Trippett. I'm the Town Clerk Tax Collector for the Town of Merrimack. I'm Captain Matt Tarleton with the Merrimack New Hampshire Police Department. And keep the public informed of every motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye and many moments so you can be confident that we're here for you. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Follow Merrimack TV on Facebook. Welcome everyone who's out there listening to us tonight. My name is Pat Cunningham and I'm the director of bands here at Merrimack High School. This is our first concert since December of 2019. 
Obviously, COVID has changed many things for all of us, but for our instrumentalists, we've had to make so many uh, different mitigation um, tools for us to be able to perform. Tonight, we're going to perform several ensembles that are uh, submitting recordings for the Solo and Ensemble Festival held this weekend virtually. Also then you will hear the jazz band following these ensembles. The first group up is the Clarinet Choir and we are playing the fourth movement of Ina Klein and Nacht Music by Mozart. You're watching Merrimack TV. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV's Government Channel 20. My name is Nicholas Lavalley, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. We're bringing you live election coverage tonight as we await preliminary results from the town moderator, Lynn Christensen. We wanted to bring you this split screen uh, style program tonight where you can watch other content that we have recorded the past couple months, we had the privilege of, of uh, recording the MHS band, uh, not just the marching band, but the uh, jazz ensemble and small group ensembles, and also the Merrimack High School Chorus, led by R.J. Beck. The band, uh, obviously, led by uh, Patricia Cunningham, who's been at the high school for quite a while. At Merrimack TV, we're huge fans of the Merrimack High School Music Department. Uh, when we say Go Tomahawks, we are also shouting out the young musicians as well. Um, so thanks for tuning in while we await preliminary results. Now, I was talking to Brian McCarthy, the assistant moderator, and he said that there was a tremendous voter turnout tonight. Today, rather. And uh, counting ballots may take a little bit longer than usual um, because of that. Um, but there's, uh, there's qu quite a large voter turnout tonight. I'm hoping that we can talk to Lynn Christensen at some point, not just when she reads the preliminary results, but if we could get her on camera and maybe talk about uh, the numbers and the amount of folks who voted today, um, that'd, be, uh, that'd be great. But in the meantime, we're, you're gonna be treated by the MHS Jazz Band as we await for preliminary, preliminary results. If you're watching tonight uh, on the cable channel, if you want to watch in HD, you can do so at MerrimackTV.com or you could download Cablecast ScreenWeave on your Roku or Apple TV device. Uh, if you're watching, please let your friends and family know that we are live on Merrimack TV. You could share our posts from our Facebook page that has all that information on where to watch, how to watch. Uh, we know quite a few of you are watching tonight and we're, we're grateful that you're watching. Um, I know Cheryl is watching. She commented on our Facebook page and she seemed to be happy that we're bringing this live coverage to you. And we're happy to do it. Merrimack TV is the brand name for the Town of Merrimack's media division. We have a community TV studio located at 6 Babusick Lake Road. If you want to learn more, send myself, Nicholas Lavalley, or Justin Slez an email. We can both be reached at MerrimackTV at MerrimackNH.gov. Uh, please stand by for prelim preliminary results. Uh, right now you can see that the uh, ballots from the other polling locations are being brought in. That's what you're seeing right now. So the, the men and women of the Merrimack Police Department are bringing in those ballot boxes from the other polling locations. That's what's happening now. Uh, notable Merrimack resident Rod Buckley, who you may have heard on covering one of the hockey, the first hockey game, the first home hockey game we had. So if you go to Merrimack TV's YouTube channel, we also have hockey games up there as well. So Rod is in the house tonight. Uh, please stay tuned. And in the meantime, enjoy the Merrimack High School jazz band and select ensemble groups.
as I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, we have had to do many things differently. Obviously, the, the clarinetists are all in bags. Most of the instruments are in bags. Um, the brass instruments have to use puppy pads, which is quite an interesting thing that we never thought we'd have to deal with before. And also, we have different masks that uh, the horn players, they have a sleeve that goes right through um, their bell cover, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, the brass choir is going to play Prelude and Fugue by Robert King. Thanks for tuning in to Merrimack TV's live election night coverage. I'm the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator, Nicholas Lavalley. We're live from James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. 
We're awaiting preliminary results from the town's moderator, Lynn Christensen. Right now, uh, thanks to our camera operator, Colin Marr, to my right, uh, you can see just the different, uh, the action that's going on here at the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. Once again, thanks for joining us, Merrimack TV Channel 20, for our live election night results coverage. We're live from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. We're awaiting preliminary results from the town's moderator, Lynn Christensen. Our media assistant, Colin Marr, is on camera tonight. And thanks to his handy Handy work here. You can see the different action that's happening at the in the gym. You've got people counting ballots. You've got people counting ballots, sorting ballots. Uh, Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator, and uh, Diane Trippett, the town clerk. Uh, is working with her staff and also some community volunteers as well. Um, these folks, some of them have been working all day. And we're just awaiting live election. We're waiting for preliminary results from the town's moderator. Until then, you can enjoy, uh, in this split screen view, you can enjoy performances from the Merrimack High School band. This was a concert that they held. It was a recital that also featured the jazz band and some small ensemble groups as well. Small group ensemble led by Patricia Cunningham. We are Merrimack TV. We're branded as such. We're the town of Merrimack's media division. We're a staff of two and a half with a community TV studio located at 6 Babusik Lake Road in the town hall complex. If you were to watch channel 22, the community channel, we have a uh, programs that are submitted by Merrimack residents recorded in our studio and sometimes outside of our studio as well. You can watch shows from Bob LaRue, Outdoors with Bob. You can watch shows by, from Janine Nodder, Chatting with Janine, Dan Bolio's Let Freedom Ring, of course, our, our friend and uh, beloved retired history teacher from the high school, Bill Souza, his show, Straight Talking with Bill Souza. To see our complete programming guide go to merrimacktv.com and check out the community channel schedule justin Sluz is back at the town hall community tv studio tonight and he's putting the graphics in the lower third of the screen there and uh, making sure our live stream stays steady so until we uh have election night results here until we get the result preliminary results from lynn we're showing the merrimack high school concert and also, if you, you may have missed it, but we had the 275th town anniversary kickoff event as well. So stay tuned. We'll have preliminary results for you soon. I was told by the town's assistant moderator, Brian McCarthy, that there was a tremendous voter turnout tonight. And it looks like uh, counting the ballots may take uh, a little longer than usual because of that. But that's good. Good voter turnout today. Stay tuned. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice.
The next group that's performing is the Flute Quartet, and they're playing Lyric Poem by George Frederick McKay. Next group up is a trumpet quintet. They are uh, playing a piece called Canzona Bergamasca by Samuel Scheidt.
You're watching Modern Night TV, Government Channel 20. Thanks for tuning in to Merrimack TV tonight. You're watching our live election night coverage, live from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. I am Nicholas Lavallee, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. With me is Colin Marr on camera. And back at the Town Hall TV studio, Justin Slez is making sure that you can hear us and our live stream stays steady. Of course, you're enjoying programming that we've recorded uh, just a couple weeks ago. Some concerts from the Merrimack High School Jazz Band and Small Group Ensembles. Earlier, you saw the Merrimack High School Chorus led by R.J. Beck. And also, you may have caught the town's 275th anniversary kickoff event. Merrimack TV is three, has three cable channels, Government Channel 20, Education Channel 21, Community Channel 22. We have a, a TV studio located at 6 Babusik Lake Road in the Town Hall Complex. If you'd like to become involved, email us, MerrimackTV at MerrimackNH.gov. We're awaiting preliminary results from the town's moderator, Lynn Christensen. I was told earlier from our assistant town moderator Brian McCarthy he mentioned there was just a tremendous voter turnout and counting ballots could take a little bit longer than normal and what you're seeing right now is community volunteers and town clerk the town clerk office staff counting sorting ballots some of these folks have been here all day working hard to make sure that everything is done properly, thoroughly, and up to state code, etc. I may not the, be the best person to describe this process. I'd love to get Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator, on camera at some point. Uh, on today's ballot, there's three different ballots. You have the special state election, of course. So there were two can three candidates up for that office of a state rep here in Merrimack filling the seat of the late uh, Richard Dick Hinch. Uh, the other two ballots, of course, are the annual school ballot and town ballot. Um, I believe there are 11 school board seats that are up for election. 11 candidates, rather, for the school board seats. Thanks for watching our continued coverage and we hope to have preliminary results for you soon in the meantime watch the live performance of the high school band thank you
Next up, we have the flute choir, and they're playing Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair, arranged by Ricky Lombardo. And it's hard to see the flutes through their bags, but we also have a couple of unique flutes. We have an alto flute, and we also have a bass flute. So I hope you enjoy Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair.
The last uh, ensemble we have tonight is the Woodwind Choir, and they're playing finale from Symphony Number no. Five by Franz Schubert. You're watching Merrimack uh, TV, Channel this 20. Group, there'll be a quick reset, and then we will continue on. With the Thank you for tuning in to Merrimack TV's live election night coverage, 2021. I'm Nicholas Lavalley, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. With me tonight is our Media Assistant, Colin Marr, on camera. And of course, back at the Town Hall Community TV Studio, Justin Slez, our Assistant Media Services Coordinator. We're so glad that you decided to stay home, watch our live coverage from the comfort of your couch. I'd like to know how you're watching, because you can watch Merrimack TV now on Comcast. But you can also watch us on MerrimackTV.com. You can also watch us on your Roku or Apple TV device by downloading Cablecast ScreenWeave. If you're watching tonight's election night coverage, let us know. Comment on our most recent Facebook post. Let us know that you're watching. Or hit us up on Twitter at MerrimackTV. Let us know that you're watching election night coverage. Let your friends and family know that you're watching tonight. Share our content from our social media page about how to watch so they can watch with you. We're awaiting preliminary results. What you're seeing right now uh, is just sort of the activity at the J Muse here at the James Master Kohler Upper Elementary School. This door that's open right now, there's a truck that pulled up. These are the ballots from the other polling locations being brought in by some Merrimack Department of Public Works employees and also the Merrimack Police bring in these ballot boxes. Spoke to the assistant town moderator, Brian McCarthy, earlier, and he had let me know that there was a tremendous voter turnout tonight. Today, rather. All day. So ballot counting may take a bit longer than usual. But while we await the preliminary results in this split screen view that we have for you this evening you're watching performances by the merrimack high school band and chorus led by patricia cunningham and rj beck you may have also been able to catch the kickoff of the town's 275th anniversary we shot that last friday uh, that was produced by justin slez myself and a merrimack high school student volunteer aiden smith who was on camera for that one. Uh, and whether you're a high school student or a Merrimack resident of any age, if you'd like to become involved with Merrimack TV, you can email us, merrimacktv at merrimacknh.gov. If you'd like to have a show on the community channel, you can do that. You can have one hour of studio time to produce up to a 27-minute or 57-minute program. We have so many shows on the community channel right now from residents like Janine Nodder, Bill Souza, Dan Bolio. Of course, we have legendary community channel shows like Outdoors with Bob. And we'd love to have more. So if you'd like to have a show on Merrimack TV, message us, Merrimack TV at MerrimackNH.gov. We'd love to hear from you. And more shots of the action here at James Mastercola Upper Elementary School as we await preliminary election results for the special state election for the state rep seat. And of course the town and school ballots, school board, town council, and several warrant articles. At some point I'd like to have Lynn Christensen on camera, but she is real busy. I mean, there is just so much activity going on here tonight. This may have been, this is one of the busier election nights I've seen in my 16 years with the town. But stay tuned. Enjoy the very talented Merrimack High School Band in the meantime. Thanks for watching. Merrimack TV, your community, your voice.
Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching tonight. My name is Rohan Srinivasan. I'm the drum major and vice president for the Merrimack High School Band. Uh, we would like to take this time to thank Mrs. C for all of her efforts this year. Uh, this year has been really challenging for us to practice with COVID-19, uh, but I know I speak on behalf of the entire band when I say that we really thank Mrs. C for bringing music back into our lives. Uh, and we have all contributed together to pool together a small gift for Mrs. C to thank her for her efforts. Uh, thank you very much, Mrs. C. Hi, my name is Katherine Janicki. I'm a band officer as well, and ad in addition to that, we also have a lovely framed and signed photo of all the band seniors for Mrs. C and a poster thanking her, uh, signed by the whole band, because once again, she's put so much effort and time into bringing music back into our lives this year. So thank you. While the jazz band is getting set up, I just want to thank the students. Without them, obviously, we wouldn't have a concert. They work so, so hard, and it has been a challenge. We only rehearse one day a week all together. The rest of the time, we're split up. Um, but they have been troopers this whole year and stuck with it, and I'm just so proud of them. And I hope that you can hear the amazing results tonight by their performance. Next set, we're going to uh, have the jazz band play. You're watching Merrimack TV, Government okay, Channel just 20. One second. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's live election night results. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. Tonight's being produced by the Town of Merrimack Media Division staff. Myself, Nicholas LaValle, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. With me is our media assistant, Colin Marr, back at the Town Hall TV studio, Justin Slez. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You've been treated to performances from the Merrimack High School Band in this split-screen view. And then, of course, we're covering the action here at the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. Right now, you're seeing ballots being sorted, organized spoke to Brian McCarthy, the assistant town moderator earlier tonight, who said that the there's tremendous voter turnout, so we could expect to, that ballots would be uh, take a bit longer to count than usual. I'm hoping to, at some point, talk to Lynn Christensen, the town of Merrimack's moderator. Um, she's been busy all night, um, but I'm going to try to talk to her at some point, maybe talk about voter turnout. But in the meantime, in this split screen view, we've been showing the Merrimack High School jazz band and small group ensembles led by Patricia Cunningham and the chorus from, led by RJ Beck. If you'd like to become involved with Merrimack TV, please send us an email, merrimacktv at merrimacknh.gov. You could have your own show on the community channel. One hour of studio time to produce up to a 27-minute talk show, or 47, 57-minute talk show, rather. Just send us an email to get involved. You can find us on social media. Please follow us on Facebook. Just search Merrimack TV on Facebook. We're also on Twitter, at Merrimack TV. Let us know if you're watching. Just tag us in a tweet. Let us know if you're wa how you're watching, whether that's on the cable channel or on our website, or on your streaming device. You can watch the channels on Roku and Apple TV devices by downloading Cablecast ScreenWeave and then search Merrimack TV. You'll see our logo. When you pull up that app on your Roku or Apple TV, what's great is you can actually watch 
other content that we've uploaded, so any board or committee meeting that you may be looking for. Also, some of our community channel shows are up there, like the legendary Outdoors with Bob. Of course, we have programs from Janine Nodder, retired U.S. history teacher from Merrimack High School. Bill Souza has a show called Straight Talking. Merrimack resident Dan Bolio has a show called uh, Let Freedom Ring. Dan has all kinds of guests on his show. We talk about sports, music, pop culture. If you have a show, or if, you, if you'd like to produce a show, we'd love to have more content on the community channel. We also had the pleasure of covering uh, Merrimack High School winter sports, varsity ice hockey, boys and girls, basketball, varsity teams. And of course, um, a couple wrestling meets as well. We worked with some volunteers on that, and that was great. But you could find that programming on um, you could find that programming on our YouTube channel as well. You're watching Merrimack TV. Follow us on social media. Let us know how you're watching. Maybe we'll give you a shout out. Who knows? I know we heard from a Cheryl earlier. She was watching. I got a couple of great. Uh, Direct messages and texts. People are watching. People seem to like the coverage. So we're happy to do this for you. And we'll be happy to bring you the results as soon as we have them. State ballot, town ballot, school ballot. Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator, will have them. She's going to read them to the room first. She knows that there's cameras on her. She's, she'll have our microphone. When she does read the results, if you didn't catch them, don't sweat it. We're going to have her read them again. But we're just waiting to see, you know, once these ballots are counted. I'll take a walk over and talk to Lynn and see if she'd be available to talk on camera. But in the meantime, please enjoy the Merrimack High School Band. to the 1940s. The next piece is called How High the Moon. This arrangement is by John Edmondson. Uh, we have two soloists. We have Ruth Ellis on trumpet one and Rohan Srinivasan on alto saxophone.
Sound check, sound check. Ten, nine. You're watching Merrimack TV, Channel 20. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV. You're watching our live election night coverage from the James Mastercola Upper Elementary School. We're awaiting preliminary results. And with me right now on camera is the Town of Merrimack's moderator, Lynn Christensen. Lynn, how are you tonight? I'm happy to be here. I'm getting a little tired, but other than that, what time did it's been you a long day. What time did you start working today, Lynn? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. So you, your staff, vol the volunteers, uh, yes. Town clerk staff. Yep. Everyone here. Supervisors. Yep. They've all been here. They're all still working. Putting in a full day. And Lynn, then some. Well, I'm happy that you took the time to talk to us. Uh, but you're no stranger to Merrimack TV. You serve on the planning board. Yep. You've you've uh, you've been on Merrimack TV before. Uh, how about we let the residents know just uh, approximately how many uh, people turned out to vote today? Well, we've got a. I'm I'm on a break right now because we had roughly 4,000 ballots that we ordered, both absentee and in person, and we used them all, and we ran out. So when we did that, we went over to Town Hall, grabbed a color copier, and we started making photocopies. They looked the same, two-sided, colored, everything on them, and we started delivering those to the various precincts. We ended up making over 900 paper copies. So our total is going to approach somewhere in the probably close to 5,000 voters, which wow. is huge. 5,000 voters for the local election. Yes. Uh, I've been with the town for 16 years now. I don't think that, has there ever been an, uh, that large of a voter turnout for a yes. town or school election? Okay. Yes. Um, it, it usually depends on the issue on the ballot rather than the candidates the the issues what so one of the biggest ones was the year they were talking about establishing the transfer station or right. doing curbside pickup right that was a big one the year that the library right. was trying to be built new library was trying to be built that was a big one that was 2005 somewhere around there yep yeah. okay or maybe so, a bit later actually yeah so we we've, we've had some big ones okay but typically anywhere from 15, 1,800 to 25, maybe 3,000. I was expecting somewhere around the vicinity of 3,000 today. Gotcha. Around um, 3,000, and, and you're saying approximately might be 5,000. Probably if, close to 5,000. Of course, we'll know the exact numbers probably tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll uh, know them tonight because oh, I you'll can't know tonight? Leave, we have them. Oh, you can't? Okay. So um, I, I have, right now, I have preliminary counts of the ballots that went through the machine. I gotcha. know what those results are because I've got those on my spreadsheet. But I can't do anything with those until if you look behind me and you see all these tables. I'll show that. We're showing that right now. I just went to the wide shot. So uh, viewers those, can actually see exactly what you're talking about. Those right are now. teams of people. They're going through the ballot and they're saying, you know, a vote for this person, a vote for this person. They're making tick marks and they're just counting the ballots by hand. So, Once those are done, I will add those to my machine totals, and then we'll know what we have for final answers. Awesome. Um, Lynn, how long have you been the town's moderator? I was first elected as moderator in 1990. 1990, so you've been at this quite a while. Prior, you know prior than that, I was working as an assistant for John Lyons for probably four or five years. Okay, so you know the ins and outs and-, and Not my uh, first rodeo. No, it's not. Uh, like I said, I've been with the town now for 16 years. You and I have known each other. Well, actually I've been the department head now for 16 years. You and I have known each other for almost two decades. Right. Uh, I have significantly less hair than I once did. Yep. Um, but we've gone, <laughs> you know, gone through changes and uh, you know, the town has gone through many changes and you know, voter turnout for uh, a town election, five, you're saying approximately 5,000 people? Is, this is fabulous. That is fabulous. More people should get involved yep. with, uh, with lo you know, with their local yep. municipality. And yep. unfortunately, you know, as we know, we cover on Merrimack TV, all of these local board yep. and uh, elected board and committee mem uh, meetings. Um, that's something we like to do. 
Um, Lynn, it's always a pleasure to have you. I got to ask you, you know, you've been doing this since 1990. What's your absolute favorite? Oh, first question I need to ask you. Is there anything other, is there anything else that unusual that happened today? Or did there, we already touch on that? There's almost always something unusual that happens. Today was, actually, um, somebody solved a mystery that I had. Um, I came into JMU's earlier this late morning and one of the ballot inspectors said, oh, I had a voided ballot. Apparently a voter had come up to them and the person that was passing out the ballots and checking people off and said, I made a mistake. And they said, okay, and they took it and just gave them another ballot, but they didn't mark it. When I take them, I always mark them as void and that was not done and I chastised them a little bit and said, no, 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 you don't do that. You go get a moderator. So gotcha. they understand that won't happen again. But that ballot, I said, what'd you do with it? And they said, well, we put it up on the town clerk's table. So I went to get it so that I could mark it as void and I couldn't find it. So I've got a missing ballot. Okay. In the meantime, the town clerk, we've run out of regular same day voter ballots. So we are taking all of the absentee ballots that we didn't use that can go through the machine. And Diane has to initial every one of them in order for us to use them for same day balloting. So she was working on that. Apparently, in the middle of doing that, this voided ballot got put into the pile. And just, you know, you're, you're working quickly on these things and it got put into the pile. That part of the pile was taken down to St. John Newman, part was left here, part was taken to the middle school. Well, that voided ballot got into the pile that went to the middle school. So when they were handing out the ballots, someone, a voter said, Here, here's who I am. And they handed them three ballots and he looked and he said, this one's already been voted. It's already been marked. Yeah. Marked. So they right. called me and said, what do we do? And I said, you just solved my mystery. There's my voided ballot. Yeah, well, Lynn, it just goes to show, you know, you've, you've been the town moderator for 90, or 90, excuse me, since 1990. <laughs> And you are very thorough, and I know that the volunteers that work here are under your watch, and they are also very, very thorough. Um, and I'm always impressed with everything that you and uh, the town clerk's office does. I, I think the world of Diane Trippett and Brenda Dulong, they work yep. very hard. Um, but we're my, all human. We can make mistakes. Sure. Th and that has It's to, just a matter of that, that, catching it. Absolutely. And, and of fixing course, it. You, you, you caught that and you yep. fixed that. So job well done. You guys always do a fantastic job. I got to ask you, you know, you've been the town moderator since 1990. What is your absolute favorite part about being the town moderator? The people in Merrimack. I get to see a lot of people that I haven't seen all year long. We get to chat. Um, we've been doing it long enough that the, the process, and this goes for town meeting as well, that it's the same every year. People have gotten used to it, so they know what to expect. They know what they're allowed to do. They know what they're not allowed to do. And everybody is kind of playing in the same sandbox, and they're playing very nicely. We had a, a bunch of different candidates outside campaigning, had their signs, but they were polite with each other. They weren't picking on each other. They weren't bad-mouthing anybody. The town of Merrimack um, really does know how to play nicely in the sandbox and I'm very very proud of them. Well we're happy that you're the town moderator Lynn and that you're no stranger to Merrimack TV so we want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy day here while you were on a break mind you because yep. <laughs> you've been at it. I stopped by here earlier today when we were setting up our gear and Lynn. It's going to be a while before we have busy. So the final. It'll, it'll be a while before we have those preliminary results. Now, you can't see this because you're here, but folks at home have been treated to performances by the Merrimack High School Band, the chorus, and we are all, uh, also showing the 275th anniversary uh, kickoff for the town, too. So That's wonderful. We've got a split screen view, and uh, we want, want to thank you for taking the time out. And um, I want to thank you for watching at home. Please stay tuned to our continued coverage of the Merrimack town and school election results. When Lynn reads the results to the room, we're obviously going to catch that. And then I've asked, I asked Lynn earlier today is once she's done that, if she could come over to us and read the results again for the viewing audience, that would be greatly appreciated. I will, I will probably give you the results of the state special election first. Okay. That's my easiest count. Okay. So you'll get those first and then we'll continue counting the town and school ballots 
and those will come later. Okay. But you'll get that initial one for the state election that everybody's really interested in. Okay, that'd be great. And then if, you, if after you read that to the room, obviously we have a mic set up on the stage, yep. people at home will see that, but after you read that to the room, if you could come back and maybe read that again. Sure. Um, we'd, I'd Happy appreciate to. that. Okay, great. Thanks so much, Lynn. And uh, please continue watching the special performances from the Merrimack High School Band and Chorus. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks. Everything that we do is not all swing. We're going to play a rock tune right now called Heat Seeker. It features a number of people. It uh, once again features Rohan Srinivasan on alto, Ethan Whiten on trombone, and Ian Cannon once again on tenor. This is Heat Seeker.
You're watching Merrimack TV, Government Channel 20. Thanks for tuning in tonight to Merrimack TV's live election night results coverage. I'm Nicholas LaValle, the town of Merrimack's media services coordinator. Joining me is my staff, our part-time media assistant, Colin Marr, on camera. And back at the Town Hall TV studio, our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Slez. He's making sure our live stream stays steady. He added those graphics in the lower third. And he's playing some content from the Education Channel. You're watching performances by the Merrimack High School Band. We had the privilege of being able to record those performances a couple weeks ago. Uh, we love working with uh, the Tomahawks any chance we can get. And in that case, the music department, led by Patricia Cunningham and R.J. Beck. We like doing anything to support our young musicians. If you just tuned in, you uh, unfortunately just missed a great interview with uh, Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator. But she kind of filled us in on the approximate amount of people who voted today. Uh, she speculates just about 5,000 people may have turned out for this local election, which is definitely up there in terms, in terms of, uh, you know, having some of the most voter turnout for a local election. Um, I think she kind of speculated, uh, Colin, correct me if I'm wrong, I think she kind of speculated that part of the reason why there was probably a large voter turnout was because of the special uh, state election for the state rep seat. I think she kind of alluded to that. Or maybe I'm picking that up from my conversation or, uh, with, with someone else earlier, but um, that definitely helped the voter turnout. Uh, right now you're seeing the action in the room here. People are counting ballots, sorting ballots. Town councilors are here. Finley Rothhouse is here and the town manager, Paul McCalley. Some other town councilors, Barbara Healy, Pete Albert, Nancy Harrington. Um, of course, a tremendous amount of volunteers today for the, to be part of the election process. And as I, when I spoke to Lynn Christensen earlier, it's great that there was this much voter turnout. Merrimack TV, we pride ourselves on the fact that we, you know, we cover your local elected officials. Uh, every, any given week, we cover so many different meetings, whether that's the town council, the school board, planning board, you know, volunteer or appointed committees like the planning board, zoning board. Um, then there's advisory committees like the Parks and Rec and you can, you can watch that content on Merrimack TV's YouTube page, youtube.com slash Merrimack TV. And, of course, follow us on social media. You can find the Merrimack TV page on Facebook. And you can follow us on Twitter at Merrimack TV. I'd love to hear exactly how you're watching tonight, whether that's on Comcast Channel 20 or if you're joining us from a website, merrimacktv.com or on a streaming device like Roku or Apple TV. You can download Cablecast ScreenWeave and you can watch the Merrimack TV channels there. Let a friend know. Let a friend know. Get the word out that we are showing these live election results. Lynn Christensen, the town moderator, had mentioned earlier that she expects to have the uh, tally from the special state ballot before the other two. Um, it's tough to say when exactly we'll have results. But while we wait, we have this content showing in this split screen view. I'm so happy that you joined us. Hit us up on social media. Either comment on our most recent Facebook posts about the election coverage or mention us on Twitter. would love to know how you're watching. I know that we've had some people mention us, our colleagues in the community development department tim thompson i know he's watching he's watching through his ruku device at home i'm gonna guess tim's watching on a 50 inch tv that's my guess let us know i'm curious i'm curious to know how you're watching just uh mention us on twitter or comment on our facebook page thanks so much for for watching we're we continue to await preliminary results here live at the james master cola upper elementary school uh, my friend fran also texted me 
said that she is enjoying this live coverage. So thanks so much for watching, Fran. Let us know how you're watching. We'd love to hear from you. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. This piece is called Spain, and it's written by Chick Corea, who uh, sadly just passed away this last week. It features, once again, Ian Cannon on tenor saxophone and Rohan Srinivasan on alto. This is Spain by Chick Corea. one of these contests. For the state rep race, there were 4813 cast, 4813. Of those, Bill Boyd got 2531, Steve Hollenberg got 104, and Wendy Thomas got 2144.
Lynn Christensen just read the results from the state ballot. Looks like Bill Boyd will be our state representative. I have Lynn right here who's going to read that for us one more time. Lynn, if you could address the camera that Colin's on. There were 4,813 votes cast. Of those, Bill Boyd got 2,531. Stephen Hollenberg got 104. And Wendy Thomas got 2,144. 2,144. Total votes cast, 4,813. Bill Boyd will be your next state rep. Lynn, when, when, do you, when could we expect the school and town ballot? They're still working on hand counting all of those town and school ballots, so it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, But okay. we at least solved the mystery on one of them. Okay, could you read those results one more time for us? Bill Boyd, 2,531. Stephen Hollenberg, 104. Wendy Thomas, 2,144. For total vote cast, 4,813. We have almost 900 paper ballots that we are hand counting, so it's going to be a while. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Lynn. Get shots of Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. That was just Lynn Christensen, the town of Merrimack's moderator. We do have the results of the special state state ballot. Bill Boyd received two hundred. Excuse me. Bill Boyd received two thousand five hundred and thirty-one votes. Stephen Hollenberg, one hundred and four votes, and Wendy Thomas, with two thousand one hundred and forty-four votes. That was the results of the special state ballot for state representative. So Bill Boyd will be Merrimack's new state rep. He's filling the vacancy left behind by Richard Dick Hinch, who before his passing briefly was the Speaker of the House. You're watching Merrimack TV's continued election night coverage 2021. Tremendous voter turnout tonight, today. Approximately 5,000 expected. I think there actually might be more than 5,000. Or just about 5,000. But those official numbers we'll have later on. But it looks like Bill Boyd will be your next state rep. I have town councilor Barbara Healy staring me down right now. She doesn't realize that we're live on the air. But that's okay. We could have a talk show. That's what we need to have. Chatting with Barbara. Let's make it happen. You know, most of the town, I think all the town councilors are here tonight, right, Colin? Uh, yep. Looks like all the town councilors are here tonight. Lawn Woods is here. So we're going to continue bringing you election night coverage. We're waiting for the town and school ballots to be counted. And just like we did with the, with the state ballot, you know, Lynn will read results to the room. You'll obviously, you'll hear that, but then she's being kind enough to come over to where we are and she's going to read that again for the TV viewing audience. I'm going to ask Justin back at town hall if he can at least put the results of the uh, state ballot up on our split screen view where you've been treated tonight by performances from the Merrimack High School Band and Chorus, and of course, replay the, uh, of the uh, 275th Town Anniversary kickoff event. You're watching Merrimack TV. We'd love for you to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter at Merrimack TV, 
and also on Facebook. Just search for Merrimack TV. You'll find our logo. Let us know how you're watching tonight because we're not just cable anymore. You can actually watch us on Roku and Apple TV devices by downloading Cablecast ScreenWeave. You can watch us in HD on the big screen. I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm convinced that our community development director, Tim Thompson, I'm thinking he's watching on a 50-inch TV screen, but I know he's watching from a streaming device. Maybe I'll hear from Tim via Twitter. Love to hear from you via Twitter or Facebook. Let us know how you're watching. And we will be here until we get those preliminary results. Thanks for staying home, staying safe. Colin and I are here from Merrimack TV. We got our masks on. We're socially distant. And we're significantly socially distant from Justin Slez back at the Town Hall Community TV studio. I like to refer to him as Merrimack's golden son. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. Thanks for sticking around. We will have preliminary results from the town and school ballots at some point. I don't even know exactly when, but fortunately, we've got some great music in the meantime. final piece of the evening. I'd like to thank a few people. There are many people that have uh, worked really hard behind the scenes to make this an exciting night for us. And I'd like to thank for everybody at Merrimack TV, Nicholas LaValle and his crew. Um, we have music colleagues here tonight, RJ Beck, Anders Benson, and Bunny Serenita. Um, Mr. Steve McDowell is helping with the soundboard, and my husband is doing their recording. And also, Many, many thanks to the students behind me. We've had a great time this year. Even with all the protocols we've had to go through, it's been a very, very good year. So the last piece we're going to play is called Woodchopper's Ball. Um, it's a Woody Herman tune. It's gonna feature a little bit of choreography, as you'll see shortly. We have Ruth Ellis on trumpet, Ian Cannon on tenor saxophone, and Ali Pecora on bass guitar. So thank you for watching tonight, everyone. We hope to see you again very, very soon. Thank you.
Merrimack TV is committed to our community. From gavel to gavel coverage of town and school board meetings to updates on town services and projects, we aim to keep you connected. Uh, good morning, I'm Kyle Fox, Public Works Director for the Town of Merrimack. Hi, I'm Diane Trippett. I'm the Town Clerk Tax Collector for the Town of Merrimack. I'm Captain Matt Tarleton with the Merrimack New Hampshire Police Department. And to keep the public informed of every motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. And many moments, so you can be confident that we're here for you. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Follow Merrimack TV on Facebook. Welcome everyone to the band portion of our concert today. My name is Pat Cunningham. I'm band director at the high school here. As you can see, the Thanks pandemic for watching has Merrimack forced TV, us Government to do Channel many 20. changes this year, especially with In case you missed PPE. it, we did have the results of the special state ballot. Bill Boyd received 2,531 votes. Wendy Thomas receiving 2,144. And Stephen Hollenberg receiving 104 votes. So pre preliminary results would mean that Bill Boyd will be your new state rep here in Merrimack. That special state ballot was to fill the vacancy left behind by the late Richard Dick Hinch, who served as a Merrimack state rep for quite some time. Prior to that, he was a, a Merrimack selectman. Bill Boyd has sat on the Merrimack Town Council for quite a while as well, serving several terms in the Town Council. So Bill Boyd will be your next, your, your new state rep filling that vacancy. Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator, she had uh, said approximately 5,000 Residents voted in today's election, and we're still awaiting the town and school ballots. What you're seeing right now is the view of the action here at James Master Kohler Upper Elementary School. You're looking at uh, the town clerk, Diane Trippett, with Brenda Dulong. Also from the town clerk's office, talking to Lynn Christensen, the town moderator. And uh, if you saw our interview with Lynn Christensen earlier, she's been the town moderator since 1990. Her and her staff of volunteers and the town clerk's office always have a, a lot of work on a, uh, an election day and this one uh, is definitely no exception with the uh, approximately 5,000 people who, who turned out for to vote today. We're still awaiting the town and school ballots. I'm Nicholas Lavallee, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. On camera tonight is our assistant, media assistant, Colin Marr. And back at Town Hall is our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Sles. We've been bringing you programming in this split screen view. We really wanted to showcase uh, Merrimack High School musicians tonight. We think they do a tremendous job. We're actually gonna be covering a concert from the middle school later this week, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll record that, we'll have that on the Merrimack Channel within a week after. Merrimack High School Band is led by Patricia Cunningham. The chorus is led by R.J. Beck. And of course, we showed the replay of the town's 275th anniversary kickoff event. So far, we've only had the preliminary results from the special state ballot. Once again, preliminary results show that Bill Boyd will be filling the vacant seat left behind by Richard Hinch with 2,531 votes to Wendy Thomas's 2,144 votes, Stephen Hollenberg with 104. Big voter turnout in Merrimack today. Approximately 5,000 residents came out to vote.
which is a big turnout for a local election. Town election happens every year. Voting day is the second Tuesday in April. Of course, you can participate all year long by watching town council meetings, school board meetings on Merrimack TV. Like and subscribe on YouTube, youtube.com slash Merrimack TV. Follow us on social media. We have a Twitter account at Merrimack TV and also a Facebook page as well. I know there are several people watching tonight. They've sent us very kind tweets and DMs. The mystery of Tim Thompson's TV size looks like he got a 55-inch TV for Christmas, and that's how he's watching Merrimack TV on Roku tonight in HD. So if you're watching on cable channel, that's fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us. But if you want to watch on HD, you can do so on that streaming device by downloading Cablecast ScreenWeave, both on Roku and Apple TV. You can also go to MerrimackTV.com and watch us in HD there. And we're grateful that you're joining us. Stay tuned. In the meantime, join. Let's uh, get some music from the Merrimack High School Band and Chorus. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. State band this year. In fact, Merrimack had by far the largest number of students selected to the All-State Band. I would like these students to also stand and be recognized. Aubrey Connolly. Abigail Cody, Kelly Dustin, Ruth Ellis, Jenny Epstein, Katherine Janicki, Gavin Kurdek, Amber Lyons, Akira McDowell, Chase Rowe, and Clara Schaefer. Congratulations to these students. <laughs> Next we follow with a gorgeous arrangement of Franz Schubert's Ave Maria. This Frank to Kelly arrangement is very reverent and beautifully scored, which adds to the depth and grace to this work. Ave Maria.
close our portion of the concert, we conclude with Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo by Malcolm Arnold. This work is indicated in the title is in three separate movements. The prelude begins bombastically with fanfare style, but then winds down to a quiet return at the very end of the movement and finally fades away. The Siciliano is both slower and more expressive, affording solo instruments and smaller choirs of sound to be heard. It too ends softly. The rondo provides a romping finale in which the technical brilliance of the band shines through. Malcolm Arnold's Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo.
Welcome to the choir portion of the concert. Um, this is this group's first performance since December 2019, uh, which I had to check the calendar on because I didn't believe it when I first uh, remembered that. But we have uh, been a while without a concert, so we're very excited to come back together and perform for uh, you this evening or this morning, whenever you're watching. Um, our first piece is by a composer named Luigi Cherubini, who was composing in the transition area between the classical and the romantic. The first composer we typically think of for this time is Beethoven. And while Cherubini wasn't, um, doesn't sort of echo through history the way Beethoven does, he was well respected in, in his time, and Beethoven called him his most accomplished contemporary. Cherubini wrote lots of opera music, but towards the end of his life, he moved towards smaller works, motets and hymns. We have a short hymn for you uh, this evening by him, and this is uh, Veni Yesu by Cherubini. There'll be two short incidental soloists by uh, Sam Pittman and Tim Yawn.
Our next piece uh, steps backward in history to the 1500s, um, and it's by Giovanni Perluigi da Palestrina. Um, the legend goes that in the midst of the Protestant Reformation, um, the Catholic Church responds with the Council of Trent, and uh, there's a particularly conservative uh, council on music that says we're going to get music out of the worship service, we're not going to use it anymore, and Palestrina thunders into the room and says, no, wait, I can do it. I can write music that will satisfy all of your requirements and still be beautiful and be appropriate. Um, whether or not that story is entirely true or mostly apocryphal or just got jazzed up for the history books, what is absolutely undeniable is that Palestrina's music has survived for 500 years because he is a master of simple, elegant, beautiful choral writing. Um, this is one of the most beautiful pieces of Western music ever written, um, and you'll, 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 you'll hear why in a couple minutes. Um, this is the height of what we call imitative polyphony. So what you're going to hear is one melody line in one of the voice parts, in this case the tenors, which then gets imitated in the altos and then in the sopranos and then finally the basses. And this music just spins out as everyone elaborates and does their own take on, on this very beautiful melody written by Palestrina. Uh, please enjoy Sicut Cervus. Our next piece um, steps totally sideways, different part of the world, different era in time. Um, we've had a lot of fun preparing this one. Uh, it's called Desh, and it's a piece of music by Ethan Sperry, uh, which is very heavily inspired by Indian classical music. So we've spent a lot of time um, this semester and last semester also, working on finding the similarities between the two styles of music, but also sort of enjoying the, those, those differences we found as well. 
Um, perhaps the most salient difference you'll find is that um, in Western music, we tend to arrange our, our, our modes in terms of major and minor. And Indian classical music does something very different. Their scales are arranged into things called rogs, which are sometimes kind of major, sometimes sort of minor, and sometimes really neither at all. Um, and so this is based on a rog called desh, and we will hear, um, so, so you'll hear those, those, those altered tones where it doesn't quite sound like something we are familiar with. Um, and we had a lot of fun putting this one together. This is far and away the most difficult piece I've ever asked this choir to do. And they have done a really great job. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of the work that they've put into this one. So please enjoy Desh. Merrimack TV, Government Channel 20. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV tonight. I'm Nicholas Lavalley, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. Joining me on camera is our media assistant, Colin Marr. And back at the Town Hall Community TV Studio, our Assistant Media Services Coordinator, Justin Slez. That's our production team tonight. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we do have results of the special state uh, ballot. That was uh, that was a state rep seat. Uh, it was to fill the vacancy left behind the, by the late Richard Dick Hinch. It looks like Bill Boyd is going to be your new state rep filling that vacant seat. The tally uh, from preliminary results is as follows, and I'm pretty sure you can see at the bottom of your screen, Bill Boyd with 2,531 votes, Steve Hollenberg with 104, Wendy Thomas with 2,144 votes. There was approximately uh, 5,000 residents who turned out for today's election here in Merrimack. Uh, Lynn Christensen, the town's moderator, gave us that number earlier. That's the amount of residents that she uh, presumes voted today based on uh, preliminary results. And we still wait for the uh, rest of the results from Lynn 
Um, if you can, we'll, we'll give you a couple different shots of uh, what's happening here at the in the James Master Kohler Upper Elementary School gym right now. Uh, there's Lynn on the stage. This is a wide shot of the uh, room itself where there are volunteers who are sorting, organizing ballots, a number of which were cast by hand, or counted by hand. So there's a number of volunteers here today. Uh, obviously, the town clerk is here with her assistant. Uh, it's Diane Trippett and Brenda Dulong. The two of them have been hard at work uh, definitely all day, but planning for you know the town and school elections takes an awful lot of work maybe we could get diane on camera as we had lynn on camera earlier as we await for further preliminary results i want to thank you for watching merrimack tv if you could follow us on social media that'd be awesome you can find us on twitter at merrimack tv or on facebook just search for merrimack tv let us know how you're watching tonight, whether you're watching on Channel 20 on Comcast Cable or if you're joining us through MerrimackTV.com. You can watch there in HD, and you can also watch on streaming devices. If you download Cablecast ScreenWeave to your Roku or Apple TV device, you can watch not just our channels live as they happen, but you can also watch on-demand programming from all three of our channels. Uh, so if you want to catch up on a town council meeting or a school board meeting or catch a uh, the latest episode of Outdoors of Bob, you can do so on that app, Cablecast Screenweave on Roku and Apple TV devices. Uh, admittedly, I was trying to get our new uh, police chief, Brian Levesque, Levesque, excuse me, on camera earlier, but he's, he's at work tonight, so he can't just, you know, fool around with the Merrimack TV guys. I respect that. At some point, I'd love to have Brian McCarthy, the um, assistant town moderator, on camera but the world championship tic tac toe they're all playing tic tac toe no one's counting <laughs> <laughs> i don't believe that <clears throat> brian jokingly told me that they're all playing tic tac toe these volunteers are hard at work brian brian's been here since what 6 a.m yeah 6 a.m today and uh all the volunteers are hard working i stopped by when we when we came to set up our equipment at three o'clock uh you know People already had put in an eight-hour day here, so we're approaching, well, it's quarter past 10 now, and we're not quite sure when we'll have the preliminary results. My guess was 10.30, but your guess is as good as mine. I'd love to know how you're watching, whether that's uh, on the channel or through website or Rooker Apple TV. Let us know. Hit us up on social media. I know Maureen Mooney is watching on a 65-inch TV on Comcast Channel 20. And Tim Thompson... Our community development director, he's watching on a 55-inch Roku Smart TV. How are you watching? Let us know. How do you watch Merrimack TV? You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. As much as close to normal as possible while accepting that that's really not been possible. Um, and so one of the things that we have been able to do, I'm very glad the New Hampshire Music Educators Association decided that this year we would still do our all-state festivals. Um, they've been virtual, they've been distance and safe, but really provide that opportunity for students to, um, to learn and to grow and to take that on in, in, in a year where all of our plates are already very full. So um, we had two students in the choir who participated in those festivals um, and we're very proud of them. We'll recognize them for just a moment. Um, for the Allstate Jazz Choir, uh, Sophia Desolitz was selected. Um, that was back in February. And then in just a couple of weeks, we have our Allstate Classical uh, Festival, which will feature again, Sophia Desolitz, and Caitlin LaValle. And we can celebrate them. So we've talked enough about how difficult this year has been. Um, and I think one of the things that I'm going to take away from it is how important those connections we are, that we have with each other, that we've been missing this past year. Um, and so this piece of music is called Connected, and it just celebrates the way that we're all connected to one another. Um, we have a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoy. Connected by Brian Tate. 
take one. Merrimack TV is committed to our community. From gavel to gavel coverage of town and school board meetings to updates on town services and projects, we aim to keep you connected. Uh, good morning, I'm Kyle Fox, Public Works Director for the Town of Merrimack. Hi, I'm Diane Trippett. I'm the Town Clerk Tax Collector for the Town of Merrimack. I'm Captain Matt Tarleton with the Merrimack New Hampshire Police Department. And keep the public informed of every motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye and many moments so you can be confident that we're here for you. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Follow Merrimack TV on Facebook. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for coming out this afternoon and joining us for this celebration. If you would uh, please rise and we'll present the colors.
if you would please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I just have a few opening remarks I'd like to make. Um, back on April 2nd of 1746, Governor Benning Wentworth signed a charter establishing that the land from Pinnachuck Brook to the Sahigan River became the town of Merrimack. At that time, fewer than 50 families lived here. Pawtucket, Nashaway, and Pinnacook people camped along the banks of the Merrimack and the Sahigan Rivers. The Pinnacooks were greatest in numbers, and their chief, Pasconaway, was the ruler of all the tribes in the Merrimack Valley. Today, the town of Merrimack has grown substantially and has become prosperous with over 26,000 residents, according to the 2019 numbers from the state of New Hampshire. Last Friday, the town of Merrimack officially celebrated its 275th birthday, and so we're here today to commemorate this historic occasion with some special presentations. In November of 2020, the Town Council established the 275th Anniversary Planning Committee with a goal developing the town's plans on celebrating this historic occasion. The committee is led by Parks and Recreation Director Matt Kasparius, and the committee includes representatives from the Merrimack Heritage Committee, uh, the Merrimack Historical Society, the Town Council, the Library, the Chamber of Commerce, and members from the community at large. The committee is developing plans to offer a series of in-person and virtual events for the community to celebrate our history, which will run from April through October of 2021. And at this time, I'd like to invite, um, to read the proclamation from Governor Sununu, I'd like to invite uh, the Honorable David Wheeler to come up. Town of Merrimack, 275th anniversary. Whereas colonists began to settle Merrimack as early as 1655, and the town was incorporated on April 2nd, 1746, and whereas rivers were an important source for early travel, and f the four villages that now make up Merrimack are named after the rivers and ferries used for early transportation. And whereas Merrimack's earliest residents were farmers and many worked in saw and grist mills and in the 19th century saw a transition to brick mills and other small businesses in the old white mills on Main Street. And whereas the town began to grow into what is today the 20th century with Merrimack's population expanding and many new businesses opening in several industries including Anheuser-Busch Brewery, and whereas today Merrimack is thriving, and through all its changes, Merrimack citizens take pride in their history and in their town as they celebrate their 275th anniversary of its corporation. Now, therefore, I, Christopher T. Sununu of the state of New Hampshire, do hereby commend the town of Merrimack on its 275th anniversary 
and join you in celebrating this momentous milestone. And at this and at this time we have a House of Representatives proclamation which will be read by the Honorable Bob LaRue. Good afternoon and welcome. It's a pleasure and honor to be here today. See all these wonderful Merrimack citizens and to honor Mr. Haig also. So I have right now a State of New Hampshire House of Representative Declaration. Whereas the town of Merrimack, located, located in the southern part of New Hampshire, is celebrating its 275th anniversary this year. Whereas Merrimack was originally part of a 1673 Dunstable Grant, and then later incorporated as the town of Merrimack on April 2nd, 1746. Merrimack has the distinction of two birthdays, April 2nd, 1746, when it was incorporated, and June 5th, 1750, when, when it was expanded. And Merrimack has gone through significant changes and growth through its history to include religious, municipal, entities, education, and industry. And Merrimack celebrates its rich history its official town birthday and its, a commu in, in, in its community in this special year and declared that the New Hampshire House of Representatives publicly does recognize and does extend its hearty and sincere congratulations to the town of Merrimack on its 275th anniversary declared by virtue of my signature inscribed below, the New Hampshire House of Representatives also does extend is highest accolades and plaudits. Signed March 19, 2021, Sherman Packard, Speaker of the House of Representatives. Thank you very much, Bob. We are also honored to be uh, presented with a state senate proclamation which will be read by the Honorable Gary Daniels. First, I'd like to say happy, happy 275th anniversary, Merrimack. Secondly, I'd like to encourage you, if you haven't done it already, to go to merrimackhistory.org. Tom read part of that history from the town in the last 275 years. But it's interesting when you go back and see the things that have happened over the last 275 years. Not only as the town grew, but the people that were involved and the contributions they made in making that. Uh, as a selectman in the town of Milford, I constantly tell people that, you know, you have elected boards that are there to set policies and provide oversight, but it's the people in town, the volunteers, the committees, the commissions, the boards the, that establish the character of a town. So I would encourage you to stay involved with the town Add your name to that list of those who have made Merrimack such a special place to live, work, and raise a family. Finally, it's my honor today to, to read this New Hampshire Senate resolution. Be it known that the New Hampshire Senate extends its congratulations to the town of Merrimack in recognition of their 275th anniversary celebration. And be it further known that the New Hampshire Senate extends its heartfelt wishes for future success. And it's given by me, Senator Gary Daniels, the District 11, in celebration of the 250th birthday of Merrimack, New Hampshire. Thank you very much. And of course, not to be outdone, the town council had its own certificate of recognition that we, uh, that we signed, whereas Merrimack was honored by its citizens on the occasion of our 275th birthday on April 2nd of 2021, 
and whereas Merrimack is rich in history and tradition, and whereas Merrimack citizens have served the community well from the pioneering days to the present, and whereas many special activities have been planned to celebrate the occasion of this anniversary, it is fitting that we should join in this expression of our pride and appreciation for the many civic and economic benefits that our community has enjoyed over the years because of growth and prosperity. Now, therefore, by the virtue of the authority vested in us as the Town Council of the Town of Merrimack, New Hampshire, we do hereby deem it is a pleasure to extend this certificate of recognition on the occasion of the 275th anniversary of the Town of Merrimack. In witness whereof, we do hereby set our hand and seal this 25th day of March in the year 2021 by the Merrimack Town Council. And it's signed by all seven current members of the council. So congratulations, Merrimack. And at this time, one of, the, one of the first events, I guess, if you will, that we wanted to kick off, um, it's somewhat of a tradition, well, it is a tradition uh, for a long time now, I don't know exactly the number of years, to present the Boston Post cane um, that was given to the town of Merrimack to our oldest resident, who's been a resident for at least 25 years. And um, we've had to, to search far and wide, and we're happy to uh, be able to present this cane to Arthur Haight, um, and we'll do that. Uh, right now. Thank you. So the Boston Post cane is to certify that author Haight is being recognized as the oldest living resident in Merrimack and as such is appointed the holder of the Boston Post cane. As a token of this recognition, a replica of the cane is presented to the recipient. Presented at the town of Merrimack's 275th anniversary inaugural celebration on behalf of the Merrimack Town Council and the town manager, this ninth day of April, 2021. Congratulations and thank you very much for being with us. I don't know if you can see it, but they're all standing for you. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. Does he want to? Do you? Would you like to say something? I, I can't. I can't read half the time. You can't read half the time. I, I, I have COPD and I lose my breath. Awesome. Thank you very much. Congratulations. So that concludes our celebration today. We would like to thank everyone for joining us here today in marking this momentous occasion. The committee, I'm sorry, you're right. I missed that on my agenda. I have one more thing we want to do. Thank you, Bob. Um, at this point, we have a presentation of the New Hampshire state flag uh, being presented that was flown over the state capitol by being presented by the Honorable Bob LaRue and Fran LaRue. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Fran and I have been Merrimack residents for over 50 years. The town has been very good to us. They've donated a lot, not only to its citizens, but to us also. So we felt that on this special occasion that we, sh in return, should give something to the town. 
the state of New Hampshire, Concord, New Hampshire, this flag was flown over the New Hampshire State House at the request of the Honorable Bob and Fran LaRue to commemorate the town of Merrimack's 275th anniversary celebration on April 2nd. In the year of our Lord, 2021, and of the independence of the United States of America, 245. Signed, Honorable Bob and Fran LaRue. So now I was told I could say goodbye. So we thank everyone for joining us here today and marking this momentous occasion. The committee has developed a 275th anniversary webpage, which can be accessed on the front page of the town's website at merrimacknh.gov, and is, as well as created a 275th anniversary Facebook page to share news, events, photos, and more. So please you know, follow along. Keep up with what's going on. There'll be activities throughout the year, as I said at the beginning, between now and October, I believe. Plus, we also have a, a commemorative bridge we're trying to build over in the, uh, we're going to bridge build over in the Twin Bridges area. This is an example of it at uh, some scale. It's, it's very much to scale. Um, please take a look at it. We're looking for donations because we want this to be a gift to the town from the citizens of Merrimack. And uh, we're definitely starting our fundraising. It's going to be a lot, but we think the town of Merrimack is more than anxious to stand up, step up, and, and help us with that effort. So, again, thank you very much for joining us, and please do stop by and take a look at the, at the uh, sample of the bridge. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone who's out there listening to us tonight. My name is Pat Cunningham, and I'm the director of bands here at Merrimack High School. This is our first concert since December of 2019. Obviously, COVID has changed many things for all of us, but for our instrumentalists, we've had to make so many uh, different mitigation um, tools for us to be able to perform. Tonight, we're going to perform several ensembles that are uh, submitting recordings for the Solo and Ensemble Festival held this weekend virtually. Also then you will hear the jazz band following these ensembles. The first group up is the Clarinet Choir and we are playing the fourth movement of Ina Klein and Nachtmusik by Mozart.
You're watching Merrimack TV, Channel 20. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV's live election night results coverage here at James Master Kohler Upper Elementary School. Looks like the last few ballots are being tallied now. There's a wide shot of the room. Lynn Christensen and Diane Trippett are on the stage. And uh, I have a feeling that we may have preliminary results relatively soon. So if you're watching this, uh, you might want to call a friend or uh, any other interested party. Let them know that Merrimack TV is still live on Channel 20 or on MerrimackTV.com or on a Roku and Apple TV devices via Cablecast ScreenWeave. However you watch Merrimack TV, I get the feeling that we may have preliminary results from the town and school ballot relatively soon. It's now 10.46 p.m. We've been live since 7 o'clock, so you've seen the action going on here in this room. It's definitely a, a late night, uh, you know, but there were over, or there was approximately 5,000 residents who voted today. The bottom of the screen, you, you'll see the outcome from the uh, special state election. Yes, Thank you. Where Bill Boyd uh, will be our state rep, filling the vacant seat left behind the late Richard Dick Hinch. He received 2,531 votes today. So we're awaiting the school and town ballots. And a uh, significant amount of the furniture is now cleared out. Uh, ballots have been processed in some way, shape, or form, handed over to the town clerk, and the moderator will get a shot of them. A shot of Lynn and Diane. So when Lynn is ready, when she has those preliminary results, she'll grab the microphone, she'll read those results to those in the room. Obviously, our cameras are rolling. We are live. And then after she does it for the room, we'll have her come over and also read those results to the TV viewing audience as well. But if you've got friends and family, interested parties that want to see the results, I would definitely send them a text message and let them know, hey, looks like Merrimack TV is going to have the preliminary results in just a bit. I'm going to say soonish. I'm probably going to get a nod or something from Lynn. But you're watching Merrimack TV. I'm the town of Merrimack's media services coordinator. With me tonight is our media assistant, our part-time media assistant, Colin Marr on camera. And of course, big shout out to Justin Slez, our assistant media services coordinator back at Town Hall TV studio. And talk about cool programming on this split screen view. You've seen the MHS band and chorus uh, uh, performing led by Patricia Cunningham and RJ Beck. And you've also watched the 275th uh, anniversary kickoff event that the town held last Friday. If you'd like to learn more about Merrimack TV, check out our website, MerrimackTV.com. Please follow us on social media, Twitter at Merrimack TV, or find us on Facebook. We'd love to know how you're watching, whether that's on the website, cable channel, or Roku or Apple TV streaming devices. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We're still awaiting preliminary results, but I, I get the feeling that we might have those preliminary results relatively soon as we approach the 11 o'clock hour. Um, I might take a walk up and talk to Lynn. I don't want to bother her, but uh, maybe she'll give us some kind of idea. But thank you so much for watching Merrimack TV. We hope to be back real soon with the preliminary results from the town and school ballot. Thank you. Stay tuned. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, we have 
had to do many things differently. Obviously, the, the clarinetists are all in bags. Most of the instruments are in bags. Um, the brass instruments have to use puppy pads, which is quite an interesting thing that we never thought we'd have to deal with before. And also, we have different masks that uh, the horn players, they have a sleeve that goes right through um, their bell cover, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, the brass choir is going to play Prelude and Fugue by Robert King. You're watching Merrimack TV, Channel 20. Thanks for tuning in to our live election night coverage tonight. I just spoke to Lynn Christensen, the town moderator, and it looks like we should have preliminary results from the town election very soon, relatively soon. She said the school may take a little bit longer, the school ballot. But that's good news that we're going to have the, the town ballot relatively soon. She's going to give me that nod. She'll get on mic. She'll read the results to the room, which you will also hear. But if you have any interested friends and family who want to see the results and maybe they, they turned off the channel mo you know, uh, momentarily, then uh, you might want to text them, call them back, say, hey, we're about to have the results from the town ballot on Merrimack TV, channel 20, or MerrimackTV.com, or on your streaming device. So stay tuned. We will have those relatively soon. And uh, let us know how you're watching. If you're on uh, 
Twitter or Facebook, comment on our most recent post or tweet. Let us know how you're watching. If you're watching on MerrimackTV.com or the channel or uh, a streaming device. We've been here since 7 o'clock tonight in this split-screen view showing you the MHS band and chorus. To be totally honest, we didn't think that we'd be waiting this long for results, so we had about two and a half hours of programming for you. So obviously we just kind of doubled you know, that. So we've shown the two concerts. We would have shown the two concerts twice and the uh, 275th anniversary twice. And uh, if you're just joining us, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there are the preliminary results from the special state ballot. So Bill Boyd is your new state rep. But Lynn Christensen said relatively soon we should have the town ballot. And by soon, I think it's going to be just a few more minutes. So if your friends and family have turned away from our channel for a moment, Tell them to turn it back. Going to have results real soon. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. Next group that we have tonight performing is a piece called is the saxophone choir. They're playing four early American spirituals, but they're only doing three of them tonight. They're doing Hallelujah, Atonement, and Bound for the Promised Land.
watch Merrimack TV Channel 20. Looks like Lynn Christensen, the town moderator, is about to give us the preliminary results from the town ballot. We're about to hear from Lynn Christensen, who will give us the preliminary results for the town ballot. You ready? Yep. All right, we have the town ballot. 4,608 votes cast. 4,608. And an answer to everybody's question to make it real easy. Nancy Harrington, Tom Koenig were both reelected, and Nancy Murphy beat out Andy Hunter. So the numbers, Murphy, 2321, Harrington, 2823, Hunter, 2181, Koenig, 2889. For ethics, Mackenzie Murphy, 2722. Library trustee, Druin, 3052. Krupp, 3200. Trustee of trust funds, Bill Wilkes, 3287, and our top vote getter for the night, Diane Trippett, 3655. Diane. All right, Article 2, Budget. Yes, 2630-1297. Uh, these all pass, by the way. Article 3. Capital Reserve Funds, yes, 3243-1155. Sewer Infrastructure, yes, 3424-958. Stormwater Project in Pine Knolls, 3067-1305. And the petitioned article on redistricting, 3282-1088. Those are your numbers, folks. And we'll get the school very shortly. That was Lynn Christensen reading the preliminary results. And she's going to come over and she's going to uh, read those results one more time. Lynn is going to read the results one more time for a TV viewing audience. All right, for town councilor, we're electing three. Nancy Murphy, 2321. Nancy Harrington, 2823. Auntie Hunter, 2181. And Tom Koenig, 2889. Harrington and Koenig were reelected, and Nancy Murphy was newly elected. Ethics Committee, Mackenzie Murphy, 2722. Library Trustees, Druin, 3052. Krupp, 3200. Trustee of Trust Funds, Bill Wilkes, 3287. Diane Trippett for Tax Collector, 3655. On the questions, Article 2. The operating budget, yes, 2630, no, 1297. All of these articles passed. Article 3, capital reserve funds, yes, 3243, no, 1155. Sewer infrastructure, yes, 3424, 958. Pine Knoll Shores work, 3067 and 1305. And the petitioned article regarding um, political districts, yes, 3282, no, 1088. Total votes cast, 4,608. Thanks, Lynn. That was Lynn Christensen with the preliminary results for the town side of the ballot. Uh, we should have the school ballot relatively soon. Um, 
she said that was going to take a bit longer to tally. Um, but w those are the results. And uh, I, I know Justin's back at the Town Hall TV studio. He's definitely going to post those results uh, uh, on the channel as well and hopefully at the bottom of the screen tonight. Please stick around. We will be back uh, in just a moment with the preliminary results from the school district ballot. Uh, if you happen to miss those, I'll actually grab the tally sheet from Lynn and see if I can just read those, read those back as well. But stay tuned. You're watching Merrimack TV, Channel 20. Your community, your voice. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV. Continue to cover the live election results. In case you missed it, Lynn Christensen just read the preliminary results from the town ballot. Your town councilors re elected uh, Tom Koenig and Nancy Harrington. And The other vacant seat is filled by Nancy Olson Murphy. Tom Koenig received 2,889 votes. That's 2,889 votes. Nancy Harrington with 2,823 votes. Nancy Murphy with 2,321 votes. Those are your top vote getters for the town council seats. Andy Hunter received 2,181 votes. All of the town warrant articles have passed. We'll get those numbers up on the channel as well. I just forwarded those numbers to our assistant media services coordinator, Justin Slez, back at the Town Hall TV studio. He's going to get those numbers up on the screen for you. Thank you so much for uh, watching our continued coverage of tonight's election results. You've also been treated by performances from the Merrimack High School Band, led by Patricia Cunningham, and the Merrimack High School Chorus, led by R.J. Beck. It's been a long night here. I want to thank, um, and we still have some time to go, so we're waiting for the preliminary results from the school ballot. But this room is definitely uh, emptied out quite a bit. I think a lot of people were mostly seemed mostly interested in the, the state ballot. There was some press here earlier. Who are also covering the event tonight. So the room is definitely thinned out compared to how it was when we first started our broadcast. Uh, I'm Nicholas Lavalle, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. Joining me uh, tonight here at James Mastercola Upper Elementary School is Colin Marr on camera. And Justin Slez is back at the Town Hall TV studio, our Assistant Media Services Coordinator. I think I took a photo of, of uh, our setup here um, and posted it to our, the Merrimack TV Facebook page. But it's definitely been fun covering tonight's uh, election night coverage and seeing all of your uh, volunteers just working hard and, and town staff and the town clerk's office just working hard and uh, just such a well-organized machine, really, that Lynn, has, Lynn and Diane have here. 
I'd like to thank you for staying home and just watching us on Merrimack TV, socially distant, staying safe. Everyone in the room has, has worn their masks all evening. Myself and Colin have our masks on too. We should have the school ballots relatively soon. I see Pat Heinrich up on the stage talking to Lynn and Diane right now, so we could very well be getting the school ballots very soon. If you've got friends and family who were watching earlier and might have turned off the channel for a bit, if they want to turn back to Channel 20 or watch us on MerrimackTV.com or a streaming device, they might want to do that now because we'll probably get results relatively soon. You're watching Merrimack TV. This is your community, your voice.
Next up, we have the flute choir, and they're playing Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair, arranged by Ricky Lombardo. And it's hard to see the flutes through their bags, but we also have a couple of unique flutes. We have an alto flute, and we also have a bass flute. So I hope you enjoy Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV. You're watching Merrimack TV's continued coverage of election night results. I'm the town of Merrimack's media services coordinator, Nicholas Lavalley. We've been live since 7 o'clock. You've been watching performances from the Merrimack High School Band and Merrimack High School Chorus. I'm joined with uh, our media assistant, part-time media assistant, Colin Marr, on camera here at JMU's. And Justin Slez is back at the Town Hall TV studio, making sure that the live stream stays steady, adding the graphics, adding the vote count at the bottom of the screen. We're also going to post these results onto the channel after this cable cast. If you've got friends and family who may be interested, I think we're going to have results relatively soon. Spoke to Lynn Christensen shortly after she read the results for the town ballot, and she said that the school ballot was just going to take a little extra time. But as you can see on the screen here, um, the room has thinned out, and most of the ballots and everything is boxed away, and uh, Pat is talking to Lynn and Diane, so we should have results relatively soon for the school ballot. Whether you're watching on Merrimack Channel 20 on cable or MerrimackTV.com or Apple TV, Roku streaming device via Cablecast Screenweave, thanks for watching tonight's live coverage of our election results. Room is definitely thinned out. And we will have preliminary results from the school ballot fairly soon. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice.
Thanks for watching Merrimack TV. If you're just tuning in, we do have the preliminary, preliminary results for the special s state ballot. Bill Boyd will be your state rep filling the vacancy left behind by the late Richard Dick Hinch. Bill Boyd received 2,531 votes. Wendy Thomas received 2,144 votes. Stephen Hollenberg received 104 votes. There was nearly 5,000 ballots cast today. So nearly 5,000 residents turned out for today's town, school, and special state election. We'll hear from Lynn Christensen soon with the preliminary results for the school ballot. I'm joined by Colin Marr on camera, Justin Slez back at Town Hall. And keeping us safe here at the J Muse is our police chief, Brian Levake, who's blushing each time I bring up his name. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice.
looks like we're about to hear from Lynn Christensen, the town of Merrimack's moderator, who's going to read the school ballot results. In answer to your question, Jenna Hardy and Lauren Peters. Okay. All right. The end of the night. School ballot for school board. Sido 774. Bronchek 925. Hardy 1588. That's a winner. Martin 1109. Miller 703. Peters 1255. That's your second one. Sabins 1087. For the one year term, Fonchon 878. Quigliumi, not close enough. 1209. Jordan's been teaching me how to say it. Uh, Cinder is the winner. McCormick is 1152. Papke is 474. Planning and building, Alaconis, 2846. Hendricks, 2938. Planning and building, Albuquerque, 2908. Budget Committee, Wilson, 2692. Albuquerque, 2557. Murphy, 2861. Savage, 2567. Budget Committee for the two-year term, Naomi, 3040. Budget Committee for the one-year term, Stisser, 2946. Then our questions. Article 1. Yes, 3668 and 826. Article 3. 3268, 1298. Article 4. 3342, 1087. Article 5, 3129, 1304. Article 6, the petition was the only one that did not pass. 1540 for yes and no was 2498. Article 7, Article 7 3433 and 938. That was Lynn Christensen with the preliminary results. She's going to read them for the TV viewing audience one more time. Thanks so much, Lynn. Voter votes cast 4,830. Total votes cast 4,830. For the school board race, Sido 774, Bronchek 925, Hardy 1588, Martin 1109, Miller 703, Peters 1255, Sabins 1087. For the one year term, Fonchon 878, Guigliumi 1209, McCormick 1152, Papke 474. Planning and building, Aliconis. 2846, 2938 for Hendricks. Planning and building, 2908 for Albuquerque. Budget committee, three year term, Wilson 2692, Albuquerque 2557, Murphy 2861, Savage 2567. For the two year term, Schoenfeld 3040. And for the one year term, Stisser, Two nine four six. Lynn, could you tell us who won the school board race? The school board race was Jenna Hardy and Laurie Peters. Thanks. 
and the one-year term was Cinda. On to the questions, Article 2. Yes, 3668, no, 826. Article 3, 3268, no, 1298. Article 4, 3342 and 1087. Article 5, 3129, 1304. Article 6, the petitioned, 1540, 2498. That's the only one that did not pass. Article 7, yes, 3433, and no, 938. Good night, folks. Thanks, Len. Can I take a picture of that? Yeah. Thanks for watching our election night coverage. If you're just tuning in, we now have all of the preliminary results in, and we'll work to get those up on the channel as well. But uh, the school board uh, seats uh, Jenna Hardy and Lori Peters both won the three-year term. And Cinda Walyumi won the one-year term. So your two new school board members uh, would be Jenna Hardy and Lori Peters for the three-year term. And Cinda Walyumi for the one-year term. All of the uh, school board articles passed with the exception of Article 6, which was a warrant article to dissolve the budget committee. Thank you for watching Merrimack TV's live election night coverage. I've been Nicholas Lavalley, the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator, uh, working with Colin Marr, our assistant media assistant, and uh, Justin Slez, our assistant media services coordinator. Thank you so much. You're watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice. Take care. coverage of town and school board meetings to updates on town services and projects we aim to keep you connected uh, good morning i'm kyle fox public works director for the town of merrimack hi i'm diane trippett i'm the town clerk tax collector for the town of merrimack i'm captain matt tarleton with the merrimack new hampshire police department and keep the public informed of every motion all those in favor signify by saying aye aye and many moments so you can be confident that we're here for you Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Follow Merrimack TV on Facebook.